Hi everyone, welcome to Loopy Mabel's Closet. My name's Jane. So today's video is all about pussy bow blouse patterns. I am on a mission to make myself one. I've always wanted to make one for quite some time and I've been searching the internet, as you do, and I found 10 patterns that I quite like and I thought I'd share them with you and there's even four freebies in there, so stay tuned. <laughs> So hi, welcome back. Yeah, so I saw, as I said in the intro, it's all about the pussy bow blouse. I just think it's a gorgeous blouse and I want to make, a f well, at least one. And if it turns out well, maybe make, make a few because I just think they're going to be perfect to go underneath my newly made pinny for. Pop the card for that up there. My Grace pinny for, which I absolutely love. I've had so many compliments on that pinny for. And my Hinterland pinny for that I'm wearing by So Liberated. All that type of thing. I want to do lots of layering and blouses and cardigans and jumpers throughout the autumn and the winter. And I can't wait to get my autumn winter wardrobe sorted. I've got all my gorgeous ditzy floral pr prints all laundered and ready to cut out into blouses. But none of these are earmarked for a pussy bow blouse. So I need to maybe get a little bit of a move on to find a nice fabric for a pussy bow blouse but I found 10 patterns there's probably lots more out there on the internet but I found 10 I mean the pussy bow blouse is basically the pussy bow blouse most of them in this list of 10 are all very very similar but obviously depends on what you're looking for some are short sleeved some are long sleeved some are like a v like a v neck type of style and yeah, they're all basically the same, but I've managed to find four that are freebie downloads, which is good. Uh, there's only one pattern in here that the sizes are a little bit restricted, but it does have the instructions on how to grade the pattern as well. So I'll come on to that as well. So I'll pop pictures up as we go along, just so you can see which ones I'm referring to. And all the links to everything I mentioned will be in the description box below. I haven't quite decided which one I'm going to pick yet, uh, but it's going to be one of these and it might even be one of the freebies, but who knows. So without further ado, let's get going and I'm going to start off with no particular order. I'm going to start off with the Lottie blouse. Now this is a freebie, a free download and it is by the Love Sewing Magazine and it's a simple sew pattern. Won't say too much about simple sew patterns. Still haven't heard from them from my brocade pants, but that's another issue. Um, yeah, so it's a simple sew pattern and it's got two sleeve options. I think the other option is sleeveless and it covers size 8 to 18, three quarter length sleeves. And this is more like the V, the V style, V neck style on this one. There it is made up, which looks quite nice made up. Very simple sleeves on this one. I'm not sure whether this is what I'm going to go for because I think I prefer a sleeve with a little, little bit more of a length on it and a cuff on it, I think. But you could easy tweak it. All the patterns, in, I think, are quite easy to tweak. Looks like it's got a couple of bust darts, so it's a little bit of shaping to this one. So that's the Lottie blouse. And as I say, this is a freebie download. So moving on to number two, this is... Everybody probably knows this one. This is the Pussy Bow Blouse by Sew Over It. And this is available in PDF or paper format. And it comes in size 8 to size 20, which is equivalent to 33 inch bust up to 45 inch bust. I think everybody knows this blouse. And yet yeah, again, this is a, um, like the V neck style. And I'm not sure whether there's the option for the higher neck. Let's see if I can find. Yes, there is, there's two options on this one. So you've got the, the lower V-neck option and then you've got the higher, higher tie detail option, but I think it still looks like it's V-neck underneath that bow. I can't quite tell, but I think it is. And I quite like this one because it's got the cuffs on the sleeves. So that is the ever famous Pussy Bow Blouse. If you search on the internet, Pussy Bow Blouse, you get inundated with this one. It really is a popular pattern, but this one's not a freebie, obviously. Moving on to number three. Now this is not strictly a Pussy Bow Blouse, 
but it's a blouse with a tie detail and I quite like and this is the Sudley blouse by Megan Nielsen now I've made the the Sudley dress which is absolutely gorgeous I popped the card for that I made it in that gorgeous blush coloured uh, fabric with the gold foil leaf details and it really was a lovely a lovely um, dressmaking project that and obviously there it is there it's got a little bit of a keyhole at the front and it's got the bow but the reason why I picked this one you could quite easily adapt that neckline and make a wider a wider bow and then you still have that like pussy bow detail so I picked that one because I thought well that would be a good option to do and it's a lovely it's a lovely fit and it's a lovely make and also it comes with three different sleeve lengths as well so you've got the shorter length you've got like the three quarter length and then you've got the gathered um, uh, uh, wrist length as well so I just pulled that one out because I just thought well it's not strictly a pussy bow but you could adapt it into making it and I do like Megan Nielsen patterns and I've already got this pattern as well so this could be an option so yeah so that's a Sudley blouse by Megan Nielsen so I'm moving on to number four now this is another freebie this is the pussy bow blouse by the sewing bee you know the sewing bee tv program and this is free in the sew magazine uh, website sewmag.co.uk and it comes in sizes 8 to size 20 so another freebie and this is I would say a proper classic pussy ball blouse look I really do like um, the sleeves on that again it's got the cuffs and it's a little bit of a higher neck tie which I prefer the v neck length where you've got that gapey bit and then you've got the tie I'm not keen on that I prefer a higher neckline and I really do like that one this could be one of the favorites for me and I've already got the pattern downloaded ready to go if I wanted to so that's the sewing bee and I love all the sewing bee patterns moving on to number five this is the bee blouse by simply sewing patterns and you can find these patterns on Etsy this is a PDF pattern only I believe and it's in sizes 6 to 20 34 bust to 48 bust and again really pretty now again this is a higher neck uh, tie bow blouse which I prefer and it's a shorter sleeve length but you could quite easily adapt the sleeve on this and make it longer and gathered and put a cuff on if you wanted and it also looks like it's a shorter a shorter bow length as well really pretty I like that one I think that will go lovely under pinafores so that is a bee blouse by Simply Sewing Patterns moving on to number six is the Tiffany blouse by Style Arc Patterns and I've got a couple of style arc patterns and I don't think I've got this one um, and I haven't made any of the style arc patterns yet. I've got a few of them and this is PDF or paper option and it comes in sizes 4 to size 30 which is 30 inch bust up to 58 and a quarter bust. That's a really good size range and I love the sleeve option on this. It's got a proper cuff with button details on it. And also it's got, is it princess, is it a print collar princess seam? That bit there at the front. And it's also got the darts at the back. So it's a proper more fitted style, this one. So that's the Tiffany blouse by Style Arc Patterns. Quite like that one. Then moving on. Now this is Vogue, Vogue V8772. Obviously this is a paper pattern. I'm not sure whether you can download it on, on this Vogue site. You may well be able to, but obviously you've got six patterns in this pattern six blouses and obviously you've got the pussy bow detail there on the top i'm not sure what the difference is between those two at the top i can't work out if there's any difference at all but the good thing obviously about this pattern is you're getting six blouse patterns in one but again if you like if you don't mind a paper pattern you don't mind tracing out this could be a, a good option again this looks like it's got a few darts in there and a little bit of shape into it which is nice and it's got the higher neck tie detail which I do prefer actually so that's the Vogue V8772 and that goes from size 29 and a half inch bust up to 48 inch bust so another good I think they're all good size range there's only one which I did mention in the intro which I'm coming on to which is a smaller size range Number eight is another freebie and this is the Ornella blouse by Mood Fabrics. They have some really good freebie patterns on their website and I really do like this one. Uh, you can download, download it for free 
and the instructions are like on the website where but the download is the, for the pattern but the instructions are still there uh, yeah so there's a line drawing on that one and again this looks like it's a higher tied bow detail on the neck and again it's got lovely cuffs and they look like a deeper type of cuff so that's the Ornella blouse and again it's a freebie and we like a freebie and that really good size range again size 2 to size 30 which is 32 and a half inch bust up to 58 and a half inch bust so really good sizes and then moving on to another freebie this is the one i said where the sizes are a little bit on the it was small to medium it's referred to which is 35 to 37 inch bust bust uh, this is the pussycat bow blouse by saw v ravenus which i've never heard of before only found when i was googling and free download and but there are instructions on her website on how to grade up or grade down on this pattern so it's not all is lost it looks super simple actually it's got a couple of darts at the front like waist darts to bring in some shaping because it just looks like it's cut more like a kimono style and it looks really simple to make and again this has got the higher bow tie on that one and you can download in A4 or the US letter size and obviously there's no sleeves in this but maybe quite nice layering um, blouse this where you could like wear a long sleeve tee underneath like I've got on today so that might be quite um, a nice a nice little make that one so it's worth considering because it's a freebie and yeah so that's the Pussycat Bow Blouse by So Vera Venus and that's free to download and the last one is the Rachel Blouse by Iconic Patterns. This is another pattern company I've never heard of until I was looking for it. And I think this one's my favourite. Uh, it's PDF or paper pattern and it covers size 6 to 16, which equates to 32 and a quarter inch bust to 42 and a quarter inch bust. So good size ranges. And it's got two, two sleeve options. There we go, we've got the long sleeve option and you've also got that cute little gathered short sleeve option, which is really nice. I like the long sleeve option. I like the fact that it's higher neck tie and it's got the cuff with the button detail, which is uh, ticks all the boxes for me. So I think this may be the one I may pick to go for. So that's the Rachel Blouse by Iconic patterns i i think they're an australian company but i would like to swear on that so that's my list of 10 pussy bow blouses and we've, obviously we've got one two three four freebies so there's something in there hopefully for everyone i think i've got managed to get all good size ranges even the one that's a small to medium size the pussycat bow blouse even there, is, they've got instructions so you can grade it. So all is not lost with that one if you're smaller or larger than those sizes. I mean, it's a pussy bow blouse. They're all very, very similar, aren't you? The only one that I've squeezed in is the, Sud the Sudley blouse by Megan Nielsen. But as I say, you can ad adapt that one. And obviously the beauty about that one too, I'll pop the picture back up of that one, is there's no buttons down the front. So it's like a little keyhole and then you've got your tie and if you... Like I say, if you adapted the tie to make it wider, you don't have any buttons to mess on with either. So that could be a quick make, that one. But yeah, so I think I like them all. But I think I am veering for either the Freebie Ornella blouse by Mood Fabrics or the Rachel blouse, which is not Freebie, by Iconic Patterns. I would probably have gone for the Pussy Bow blouse by Sew Over It, but it's that deeper V-neck that's put me off slightly. But we'll see. So, but yeah, so hopefully that's enlightened you into the Pussy Bow blouse. If you were ever thinking of making yourself one and you quite like the style of it, there's a few, quite a few options there. that I'll put, I'll put them all in the box below for you to click on the links and have a browse and see what you think. And, and there's those four, obviously, you can download for free and make straight away if you fancy. So I'll keep you posted on which one I make, but I need to go and find some nice, pretty fabric. And I don't think I've I know, shock horror. I don't think I've got any on my shelves to make one with. Well, I do. Yes, I do. In fact, I've got some Atelier Brunette fabric on my shelf, which may make a lovely pussy bow blouse. And I've got enough probably to do. I bought it earlier on in the summer, as you do. 
not knowing what I was going to do with it as I did. Don't do that anymore. We shall see. So I have got that as an option. But I'm not sure, but I, but I will keep you posted whichever, whatever fabric I use and obviously whichever pattern I do go for. And obviously I'll do a vlog to show you what I did. But hopefully I've inspired you, hope I've enlightened you to some pattern companies that you may never have heard of. And if you were always considering making yourself a nice tie blouse, then hopefully the list of 10 that I've found may help you to choose uh, choose a blouse for you. So thumbs up if you enjoyed today's vlog. I love doing these type of vlogs. I love doing a bit of research, You're sharing it with you. And obviously if you've just found me and you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you joined me and hit that subscribe button and then you'll be able to follow along with me with everything that I make in all my vlogs. But until the next time, thank you for joining me today. And as always, please take care and happy sewing. <laughs>